Welcome to this video. Um, we play against Igor. He looks like a cowboy. Like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> okay, from Chile. And what should we like to play against Pistol Guy? Maybe the Alekine. Yeah, as you can hear, I'm, I still have a, have a cold, so I didn't manage to record that many games in the past days. Uh, I was ill, but let's hope for the best in this game here. I attack e4, and white directly plays d4. So maybe he wants to push for e5. Um hmm. Okay, I will take. And it looks a little bit like the uh the Petrov defense, but here I can, you know, just attack the queen with tempo, and I will do this. So he needs to take control over e4, maybe by playing queen e3. Okay, so uh, maybe I should transfer the bishop here to b6. So I have a check here. And now bishop a5 and bishop b6 to attack the queen again. Yeah, he even forces me to go to the square. This is strange because I like the bishop here on b6 very much. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder if I should waste the tempo with h6 because bishop g5 looks annoying. But I also think that it's maybe a good idea to castle long. So, although, I mean, a4, a5, he's very quick here on the queen side. So I just develop here my, my pieces, I think. So bishop, bishop g4, maybe. Attacking the queen again. Yeah, I'm already better developed, because I have three pieces out, and, and, and white is just uh, uh, now two minor pieces in the queen, but uh, he still needs to develop his knights. And Yeah, why not attacking the bishop here? Um, is g5 maybe even an option? I'm not sure. Okay, what I can also do is you know, attacking this bishop here on c4. And then I can play bishop g4, which looks very strong because when he plays knight f3, I can just take here uh, and force him to have a double pawn. Okay, he plays f3. And I think I, c I keep the bishop here on board and develop my queen and then I castle long. Same as white does. But should I play g5? I don't like him to play f4. And um, yeah, this is a terrible blunder. I don't get it at all because I can just take here. And then knight d3 is winning the queen. Yeah, this was an over overlook oversight uh, of white. Um, yeah, and he just resigned. Um, yes. Um, so, 
okay for for these tactical tricks you you always need to yeah to look look at this, something like this knights are always very dangerous but um, when we analyze the opening now I would say um, yeah white had the problem that he lost many many moves with his queen so if you count the moves we have we played 16 moves and how often did white play with the queen uh, one times two times three times four times so I mean every fourth move was done with the queen and as you can see uh, black I mean with black I, j I just moved the queen one time and if you look at the position as well um, the knight is still not developed but black had the opening advantage so uh, normally you uh, shouldn't come to a situation like this where uh, you know you lose in 16 games with white and having having developed your your queen uh, or your, your 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 pieces your minor pieces as well so concentrate on uh, on developing your pieces your minor pieces first don't move the queen too early in the game and yeah then i think you're in a good way thanks for watching